Hello, my name is Bill Main, and I'm here today to talk about using a ham radio. And in particular, we'd like to talk about the ICOM IC4011 UHF transceiver. This is also known as a HT commonly, or handheld transceiver. We use it for ham communications and also for GMRS. The radio is programmable so that often the information in the user manual alone is not enough to fully explain the operation of the radio. So this video will go into detail about the functions of the radio so that after watching this you'll understand how to use it. So we'll start by opening the box and putting the radio together. Okay, when you open the box, this is what you'll see inside. You'll see the radio right here. You'll see a uh, user manual and some warranty registration. You'll find the battery for the radio. This is the battery. You'll find the antenna. This is the antenna for the, for the radio. This screws on. This is the stand for the charger. And then this is the power supply. This is the power supply for the charger. And this is the clip that you can use to clip the radio on your belt. And there's a few other miscellaneous items. Um, one thing that, um, that I've included with the radio, it doesn't always come with it, but I've given it to all the uh, members in our group, is an adapter so that we can connect the radio onto an external antenna. This is the um, ADC98FSC, which is about a $20 part. And there's some other miscellaneous things. One thing that's also important is an external microphone, which looks something like this. And if you take it out of the package, the microphone is like this. And we'll show you how to connect this to the radio. This allows you to transmit without holding the radio up against your head. As you see, I have placed some of the essential components of the radio on here on the table. And so I'm going to go ahead and put the radio together. So the one of the first things to do is to put the antenna in. And if you look at the the top end of the radio, you can see that there's a, a connector, a screw connector. And so you take the antenna and you put it on this connector and turn it clockwise and the antenna screws right onto the radio. It's a good practice to always put the antenna on first because the one thing you can do that will hurt the radio is to transmit with the antenna removed. The next thing you can do is to put the battery pack onto the radio and you'll see that there's kind of rails on the on the radio and the battery will slide on these rails. You want to make sure to have the contact end of the battery pointing towards the antenna. So as you place the battery pack on the antenna it will um, slide on in this manner. To remove the battery pack from the antenna, I mean from the radio, you simply pull the switch down on the bottom of the radio here. If you pull this, this switch down, the battery will slide off. The next thing we can do is to put the clip onto the radio. And it's actually, um, when you put the clip on the radio, you want to actually do it with the battery off. So you as I was saying, you push the clip down, move the radio, you can place the clip on. And then when you put the, the battery pack on with the clip, you must raise the clip like this with one hand and then slide the battery pack on. So it's a, uh, and you can use with the clip or without the clip, you can do it either way. Okay, the next thing that I'd like to do is to put on the external microphone. And you can see that there's um, two connector plugs on the side of the radio. So you take the external microphone and there's a, a plug on the external microphone that looks like this. And the plug goes in with the big, with the big uh, prong on the bottom and it plugs into the 
radio like this plugs into the the holes on the side of the radio and you can push it on with your finger and then you can screw in the um, the two screws and usually finger tight is good enough although if you um, if you wish you can tighten it with uh, a coin or something like that okay so the next thing I'd like to talk about are the controls of the radio and if you look at the end of the radio, if you look at it end on, next to the antenna, there are two, um, there's two knobs, a bigger knob next to the antenna. This is the channel selector. And then a smaller knob that's further from the antenna. And this one is the on and off volume. So it's similar to, um, to most radios. These are the the basic, um, the basic controls of any radio is something to change the frequency and then something to turn it on and to adjust the volume. And when you turn on the radio, you'll hear the tone like we just heard right now. And that tone has been programmed in. So every time you turn on the radio, it will give you a tone like that. So you'll know that the battery is, the battery is working and the radio is, um, the battery is connected. I'm going to turn it off again. Um, one thing you'll also see on the channel selector is that there's numbers around it. It, start, it goes 1.3.5.7 all the way up to 15 dot. And so there are 16 channels. And so right now the radio is set at uh, channel 1, which is with the white line, which means you have the white line of the radio facing forward. And as you um, change the selectable click each time you go from channel 1 to channel 2 to channel 3. So if it was dark and you didn't have a light, you just turn it, you'd turn it all the way counterclockwise and that'll get you to channel 1. And then each click after that tells you you're into 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it's possible to set the channel even if it's dark.